Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Mafia 2. We are continuing on, I believe we're on chapter 10. We have five chapters left, which is, I think, actually insane. I feel like I genuinely just started. I feel like we've gone through this much quicker than we have the first Mafia, which is crazy to me. But we're continuing on. Chapter 10. I think we're in May, maybe? Room service. Or July. June! The one month I didn't say. 15th, 1951. Oh, last time we were welcomed into the family, both us and Joe. We are a part of Frank's. Frank, Frank Vincetti? I think is his name. This place is so much nicer. On oh, the ironing board. Uh, hello. Hey, Vito, it's Eddie. Hey, Eddie, what's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, all right, what's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right, I'll be right there. He sounds so sleepy. It's cute. Look at the TV and the logs. Oh. I love this. Oh, okay. That. So, what's this door? Oh, it's the bathroom. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wardrobe. Uh I kinda wanna wear this again. I knew we I know we wore it last week last episode last week, but I wanna wear it again. And I know so many people were mad that I didn't take um, Lucas. Was that his name? Lucas car. I'm sorry. I actually didn't. I was like, oh, similar car to mine, but not broken. Let me have it. So I took it. Oh my god, that's so cool. Look at that. the bridge we're really like living it up this is cool this is so cool Aww. the base best bear excuse moi merci merci damn oh you're not going that far let me take off my speed limiter I don't need it on. I do, I really do, but like. I'm a speed. She a runner, she a track star. Okay, there's a cop up there. Oh no. Of cars. Okay. Damn it. I really do like the fact though that if you're not caught stealing a car, you're not actually wanted for it. I I like that. I like that a lot. I think Whoa You swerved into me! You're pulling a little GTA. I think in the tutorial though, I can't remember if we were someone watched us break into the car or if it that simply happened because it was part of the tutorial and it had to happen. I'm not 100% sure, but I am glad it's not a, uh, a permanent thing. Run! Oh. 
I do wonder though why as a remaster this game has so many loading screens. So when you open the door and it oh I keep going up one too many. Um PS <laughs> I went on with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. The the black oh, screen. Hey, good morning, Vito. Middle. Marty. What are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best this chance to get rid of shiny. him and so. his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? <laughs> okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. Thank you, sir. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Go at you. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway oh. driver and somebody to cover our asses. Oh, I hope he What he's do you in... got against him anyway? Oh. I've known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Is this aversion to him coming due to his lack of experience? Or is it the fact that he doesn't want someone so young involved in hey, doing hey, Joe. this? So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. The gabiche. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, Alright, slow down, Billy the Kid, alright? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. I'd assume it's some sort of... I don't want to say parental, but... Caring instinct that he has due to his, you know, his, his younger sister having we'll that take my sort call. of... All right, I'll drive. Care? I, I don't know. I don't know. Mind you, I would say that would probably be the case for Tommy. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. Oh, perhaps this is our getaway car. This Plus, I'm nice pretty car. sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel, park in the underground parking lot, and use the back entrance. Yeah, so I, 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 I'm not 100% sure. Tommy, again, I would assume would be more of the caring type, especially since he obviously has a daughter. So, uh, fellas, 
Come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing that Vita a book? Is much I already more... told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm headstrong. I'm, you know, I'm just curious. You know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. If he's the driver. Granted, it's a getaway so driver. gonna blow the hotel sky high, Why huh? are we Marty. driving? Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. It's funny, when he was talking to Joe, I'd assume it was more of that, oh, he doesn't want a kid to mess it up. But when he was talking there, the better off you are. That makes me think he actually cares for Marty and he doesn't really want him involved for his own sake. Maybe it's a bit of both. Whoa. This is a hotel. Is this it? No. Me. Don't mind me. Here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on oh, the other yeah. side. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clementi's goons searching us and finding them. Right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because you're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. How, how, so how is Vito? Get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? <laughs> Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. I do think it would have been more interesting, or I guess, um, uh, more... Perhaps, um... Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows stronger up. Stronger if he had Fuck. said... Can when we just get in some other way? You, become the smart you can try, one. but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Num Nut shows up. That time. lazy piece of shit. The first time would be more emphasis on the you because it's like, when did you Come become on, the smart you one? idiot. Second time, when did you become the smart one? Like, when did you become the smart one? I don't know. But. Where the fuck are you? Not that there was anything wrong with how he said it. FYI, I just thought it was uh, interesting in the emphasis guy. both of being on the you at the same time. Hey. Yeah. You see uh, King Lao? Yeah. Yeah. Well, where is Don't he? Mind me. He go on smoke break. I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, Where's I Marty? All right, enough. Just get the hell out oh, of here. Oh, he's in the car behind. Literally, like, glitching out. See? Like, I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. I 
was he to begin with? Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Use the elevator hey, to reach the you two. Floor. Get over here. Hey. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. This mess? Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's get to work. Let's go. <clears throat> Move it. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, oh, come yeah, with us. Sir. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. <laughs> we made more of a mess than that was to begin with. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Did you just change the bit? Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. What do we think? I feel like an Should idiot with this thing one? on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize well. us. Fucking hope so. <laughs> hey. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? No, I'm sorry. Somebody spilled something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. What's the best blood? There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for or you, you'll get the place spick other. and span. And then get the fuck out of there. Subways. Was that a yes? Ugh, please go away. All right, I'm sorry. That was rude. These two are here to clean up the uh, mess. So we get too mess? close, they recognize us. Oh, that mess. Isn't that the woman? Jo All right, come on, you two. Isn't that who you were seeing? One of the guys who was uh, here before. He uh, tripped and fell. Mm -hmm. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So okay. now there's blood all over the fucking yeah. place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you got to get this shit cleaned up. And you got to make it snappy. Got you. Any collectibles? Any... Any collectibles? Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Cut a hole in the window. Hey, hey yeah. In here. Oh, shit. The, the oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus. I thought we were supposed to be plus. helping cut a hole in the window. Uh, the red and matching the negative, ne oh, the blue and... What are we doing? Are we meant to be grabbing a wire and putting Perfect. it up? Okay, the hard part is almost there over. There's no wire left. <laughs> Scrub the stains, put your back into it. Let's go already, clean this shit up. We're doing it, we're doing it. You need some carbonated soba and cold water. Get it right out. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Look at this, huh? Guy says, really? Bartender says, yeah. He said, don't work so good, though. Guy says, why not? The bartender says, you really think I asked for a 12 inch pianist? <laughs> Talking to you. You're looking right at me and asking stupid questions. I'm not supposed to answer you. 
That was a rhetorical question. Joe, come on. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. I am sticking to the plan. Okay, we go through here then. Take it slow, slow and steady, slow and steady. Damn, yeah. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Hold on, man. Vito. Chill. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. We're a moment to hide Just that. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified what the clip. the hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. <laughs> we gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. Come down and give me a fucking smack! Shit, these guys! Fuck me. Alright, let's get out of here. We could stealth. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> Find the hotel washing platform. No shot. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit, they- Okay, Vito. Here we go. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Back me up, Vito. Oh, that's the best you got? Yo, oh, fuck! the best you got? They teach you that in the army? I mean, there was no yeah, way I could have stopped this. There was no way. They were all... Like... Back me up, Vito. Oh, oh it is. Shot me. Fuck. Oh, is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Come on, let's go! Catch up! I want his Tommy. I'm back! Right, where are we going? Over here? This is what we need. Call the elevator. Look at all those fumes. Oh, it's another magazine. Hey. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh, shit. Oh. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Well, I, I would like my little magazine here. Joe, don't. Here's some tape. Tie him up. Okay. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Well, if no one finds him... Okay, get on. We got work to do. Hey. How much wire you got? 
Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. Uh. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. Well, uh... Better. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. <sighs> Hi guys. Hey. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. I love how there's no hole in the window, nor is there a wire. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I think that's I think it's amazing. The tree. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Hey, back's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These are all pre rendered, right? They're not in game. Oh, These time. assholes ain't gonna know. Whoa! Jesus Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Fuck it is! What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it. All right, right all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah! What the? Jesus Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. <laughs> Felt like a fucking earth. What the, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Lucky bastard. You assholes. You're gonna fuck, die for this. Get away. Come on, Vito. Dude. Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't wow. enough. Move it. Get you We've got to get out of here too, though. No! I didn't do anything! Oh, fucking dead! No. Must have watered down as much. Wait, I shot- no, I headshot him. So... I- that was a headshot. We sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! Get you No! I didn't do anything! No! Go. Must have watered down as much! I'm gonna get you sooner or later! Back me up, Vito! Go! Watch out! Behind him glass wall! Oh, ah, get that guy with the stun! You don't wanna get on your bad side! Oh, easy! That's hot shell food! Come on, shoot the fuck! Come on, let's go! Chop, chop! Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'm going in. I'm the best. Take the other door, Vito. I got the right side. Okay, but wait, I want. I need ammo for my Tommy. Okay, so take the. Going in? Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, come on, oh, show you. Oh shit! This way, Vito. You won't get through there. Got it. You're fucking dead. Ah, oh, fuck! The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I thought it was rain. Watch this. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Pixar. Wait, how about the elevators? There's run? more Fire. coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Tree. Two. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. 
surely they wouldn't work, no? There's a fire, and the sprinklers are Next on. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi would be in a bedroom? Because we were looking in the... If the bomb didn't go off early. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll get him. Wasn't it the wire? We stretched the wire too much and that's what caused it to definitely early. Was that not it? No, Marty. <laughs> Forgot his name. Marty, no, <gasps> no, fuck! They shot him. He's dead, Vito. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. Let's go. No, Marty. Oh. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. If they split up, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Okay. Just follow Clementi. He's in a black limo. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? Dead. There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. Ugh. Be Ugh. careful, Vito! I'm going in! I don't know if we're like meant to get to a destination or just chase him. Okay. That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. I love how there were no cops. <laughs> this is for Marty. Now it's over. Let's go to my place. You want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. Right. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Oh, okay, okay, what about Clemente? Done. All right. Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to it go. It was his idea. Yeah, I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Hey. This was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. 
Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. He definitely feels guilty. I wonder if he kind of saw Marty as a redemption arc, almost, for what he did to Vito. I'm pretty sure, if I am not mistaken, it was Joe's idea for the... Whatever they did that got Vito to get caught and thus ended up with him going to war. I'm pretty sure it was on uh, Joe. And so I wonder if he did see Marty as a sort of redemption arc to help him deal with the fact that he cost Vito so many years in prison. Granted, Vito is his, oh my God. Vito is his own person and he shouldn't, I guess take the blame for what Vito admittedly decided to join in on doing Vito as his own person and um, his actions are his and his alone. But Joe was the one who didn't get caught and Joe was the one who didn't spend time in the war and Prison, and it feels like Joe's been doing all these things to try and make up for the fact that Vito had to go through all of that and all the time that Vito lost, especially with his mom and then so his mom suddenly getting sick and dying whilst he was in prison. And so the fact that he kind of took Marty on as an apprentice almost, I mean a friend, yeah, but I would say more so perhaps as a do-over, kind of? And the fact that it was all his idea, it was all on him, and Marty ended up, you know, dying because of it. I think this is really going to start affect, I think this is really going to, sorry, affect Joe badly, and I think we might see a decline from him. I think he's going to start acting differently, perhaps. Because again, I, I feel like he saw Marty as his second chance um, to do right by someone. Perhaps I'm interpreting it all wrong and I'm completely mistaken, but that just is what it seems like to me. And so if I'm right in that, and if I'm right in the decline, I can imagine there being some really tough feuds between Joe and Vito now, which I wouldn't put it past because they also already have had times where they, uh, I, I don't want to say fought, but disagreed. And considering they are practically like brothers, I, I don't know. Because then at the same time, I do have to take into consideration the fact that Vito and Joe were together when they killed Tommy. So... I, I truly don't know. That is not a ham and cheese sandwich, but that looks hella good. Come on, clean up the crisp, find the plate. That's so gross. Dude. Disgusting. Is that book about birds? Is he learning about birds? Oh, phone call. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this, a uh, Vito? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. 
What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf mm, hooch all night long, it. dribbling on about some oh. cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now I'm look, so I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get Vito. there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. I mean, I did say it'd be a sort of a decline on this. I like the high school outfit. <laughs> Does this car need to be repaired or is it just dirty? Or is the paint chipping off? I know it needs to be repaired, but I wouldn't assume it would look like this. I kind of wish that was a car wash. <laughs> you swerve- they- I'm pretty sure they do the same thing in this game where they swerve into you. Like they do in GTA 4. I'm pretty sure this game has the exact same mechanic. Because I wasn't swerving there. And that just happened. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, no! Oh, you hit my car! Oh, Vito, you All here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Joe. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, no. Joe, I wonder why. Oh. Heh, <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. <gasps> Jesus! Ah, shit. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? No. I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right. All right. I'm gone. Drag the body to the bartender's car. This is a nice car. Wait, why? Why, what did I do? 
What did I do? I didn't do anything. Wait, I didn't do anything. Why do they want to arrest me? I didn't see anything. Oh, this game makes me panic. Just in case, I'm gonna stop in at the body shop. Body shop. The, the, the car body shop. And change the number plate, just in case. I don't know, that might have just been a glitch, or maybe because I was so close to the place. But, just in so case, what can I, do for I you, sir? am... No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. Thanks a lot, pal. Damn, I appreciate we have the business. so much. So we don't have the thing above us. I think if we're wanted by the police for any way, the wanted sign above the mini map stays permanently. I actually don't know. Maybe I didn't have to change this at all. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about. Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Be discreet. How do I be discreet? Lighting mechanic going crazy right now. Are we taking it to the scrapyard? Whoops. <coughs> oh. This car is so nice. And I changed the number plates. Crush it. Do we go upstairs? Huh. 
Ah, shit, what a day. I should go home now. Probably for the best. Now we have to find a car, though. And I don't know where to find one. These are all scrap cars. Mm. Camera shake go crazy. <laughs> Gotta be some parked cars somewhere. Well, there's one. Well, that's the damaged one. This one looks like it should work though. Ah, oh, damn it. Now, because I wasn't caught doing that, I don't believe I should get wanted. Which means I don't have to go and worry about changing the number plates. I can just drive home. I probably won't keep this car. It's cute. But I don't think it's very practical to add to my collection. I really would have liked adding that car to my collection. That was very nice. <sighs> Big old sigh. So if you rob a car in front of other people, can they also report you to the police? Or no? I'm not sure how in-depth the system is. It is pretty in-depth. Did I mention- I, I thought it, but I don't know if I said it out loud. Car wash. I feel like a car wash would be a pretty good impl implementation. Considering we have a gas garage. Which I don't know. I don't know how open world this game is. It's a bit of a weird one to me. And you have all these aspects with like petrol garage and uh, buying guns and stuff like that, but it never feels as if I actually need any. Or anything. And we're at chapter 10, so unless it comes into play within the next, I guess, four chapters, because. Is this going to finish the chapter? Yeah. So unless it comes into play within the next four chapters, I wonder if they wanted to expand it into more of an open world feel, but they just weren't able to? Or what? A friend of ours. What did that say? June 27th? Okay. Who the hell is that? Well, we will find out who that is next time. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next part of Mafia 2. Okay, bye!